Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel once again. I have brought another video of Flutter series where we can learn how to implement authentication using mobile number in Flutter with Firebase. In last video, we had seen the implementation of Google sign-in, which was a more convenient way of signing into any application. Mobile number verification is becoming popular nowadays. You might have come, come across many websites or apps where you are asked to enter your mobile number to authenticate yourself using via any SMS or OTP based authentication to make sure that you are the real user of this app. If you are new to my YouTube channel then please do subscribe uh, and share with your friends if you like the content or if it is helping you in any manner. There are two ways we can implement authentication for the mobile verification. One is by using the any third party SMS provider by consuming their API we can uh, implement our phone verification authentication and the second way is that by using the firebase provided uh, one features called phone verification for mobile apps which we can use to implement the phone verification in flutter i will be covering the second option which is the firebase option in this tutorial which is very easy with these steps follow along with these steps to achieve the phone verification implementation like every time I say, do Firebase project setup. If you haven't done, then go and watch my other video, which I'll be uh, sharing the link in the description below. Add these dependencies in popspec.yml file. Enable phone features from Firebase console. Once you are done with that, then generate a SAR-256 certificate from your terminal and uh, attach that certificate to your Firebase project set. How you can do that? you can go to this project setting and add your SAR 256 in the below down in the mentioned area now let's go to the coding section for this tutorial i have already implemented everything and made ready for you but uh, i will explain one by one so that you should not miss anything keep watching this video till the end for the for the things which you won't generally get from the stack overflow easily so let's see what i have already implemented as you can see in this emulator on the right hand side there is a mobile number text field and one button called send otp uh, where is the component i will be showing here i am just going to the main.dart file and i have hooked sign in with phone sign in, sign in with phone component or the ts uh, or the uh, dart file if i go back to this uh, sign in with phone then we can scroll down a little bit and you can see there is a option called uh, uh, there is a uh, firebase sign in which you can see on the emulator right hand side and i have taken a single child scroll view just to make sure there will be no uh, render box uh, element issue error and i have kept another column inside this uh, container or single child scroll view just to make uh, a little bit uh, ui uh, responsive and to look better inside that i am having one text input field which is uh, which will have our input as a number format you can see there is there i have mentioned as a phone it means that we can only enter the input in number format only i have just added some uh, validation not to uh, enter any empty data while sending for phone verification after that i have kept one elevated button which is nothing but the send otp and i have hooked another sign in with mobile number method inside the sign in with mobile number method i have created or i have implemented the actual method provided by our flutter so let's see what's inside in this method i have created a private method and uh, inside this private method i'm just uh, taking a form key current set well to validate the input whether this input has any value or not after that i have taken one auth instance this auth instance you can see from the firebase auth instance i am getting a instance of this firebase in terms of authentication firebase authentication and firebase authentication provides many uh, methods to authenticate your application like if you just go and type and if you control space
सारे सी यू कैन सी हियर सो मेनी ऑप्शन आर देर लाइक साइन इन एनोनिमसली साइन इन विथ प्रोवाइडर साइन इन विथ क्रेडेंशियल साइन इन विथ कस्टम टोकन एंड ईमेल पासवर्ड एंड मेनी वर्क देर इज ऑल्सो साइन इन विथ फोन नंबर एंड साइन आउट एंड मेनी मोर ऑप्शन आर अवेलेबल इन साइड दिस ऑथ इंस्टांस विच इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई फ्लटर फायर बेस पैकेज विच इज ए फायर बेस ऑथ डिपेन्डेंसी प्रोवाइड दिस फीचर्स सो दिस मेथड इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई आवर फायर बेस ऑथ पैकेज विच आई कैन सो यू हियर इफ यू जस्ट गो एंड टाइप ऑथ डॉट वेरीफाई मोबाइल नंबर हियर यू कैन सी वेरीफाई पासवर्ड रिसेट कोड एंड वेरीफाई फोन नंबर There is also another method which is available that is called sign in with phone number. This method is available for web version. If you can see, if you press control and space, you can see on the left hand side this method is only available for on web based platforms. So please do not use this method while using in your mobile apps. For that we will have to use our phone verification verify phone number method. so if you go and check here inside this phone verification method like what are the inputs this phone verification method actually accepts so let me just type this one if you hover on this verify phone number method you can see they it accepts like a phone number that can be from any country and one multi factor info one is verification a uh, verification completed is a callback function and another is, is also there one is verification fail if uh, verification is failed or not and this is the another method code sent if the device uh, if the firebase successfully sends the code this method will be executed code sent similarly if your application has any auto retrieval code timeout or not that this method can be hand uh, this method will be Similarly, if your app has any code auto retrieval timeout session or not, this method will be responsible for that. And there are many options like timeout is there for how many times your uh, SMS uh, code should be entered. Like you might have seen in many more apps, the timer will be uh, going down from one minute to some fifty nine, fifty eight, from like that second wise, decreasing wise. So this can be handled in the duration. So let's see one by one. I have already implemented the same method in the below down. Here I have written verification completed. So inside the verification completed, we will get the phone auth credentials. If you go to this phone auth credentials, you will get uh, two things. One is SMS code and token. With this SMS code and token, it will it will allow you to uh, log into your application. so you can just uh, pass this auth credentials with the sign in with credential this method is uh, this method is provided by flutter or firebase auth packages to sign in to your application the best part of this sign in with credential is that it will keep you logged in to your app until unless you sign out from the app so this method will be executed once your app or once your verification is completed so if your verification is failed in any case like the sms didn't receive to your mobile or the sms couldn't be sent or or otp could not be sent to your device or mobile number is wrong so this uh, method will be invoked code sent if your device or if your app successfully sent the code to the device then this method will be invoked Uh, so in the inside this method what i have done is that i have kept one so dialog box where i will be providing the input which i will be receiving on my uh, mobile number as an sms or as an otp so i have taken two fields one is the text field to enter a uh, sms that receiver otp that received in in the mobile and the second one button which will be clicked and it, once that button is clicked we will take or we will get that sms code through the input field code controller and i am just trimming that value to remove the empty space before and after of that value 
and what I am doing, I am getting the credential from the verification ID. One more thing, I just missed to explain explain you that verification ID. This verification ID will be available or, or will be provided by this method, code sent method. This is the verification ID for each SMS sent to your device. With the help of that verification ID only, you can get the credential. And to get the credential, we can call the credential method of phone auth provider. This is also provided by our Firebase auth package. Once you get the credential, you can sign in with sign in with the credential you can see there are two places where i am doing sign in with credential one is here and one another is uh, on the above section inside this verification completed but when you enter the otp received and you click on the done button on that uh, alert dialog box this method will be executed and here inside this uh, method i am redirected to a landing page landing page is nothing but our home page uh, where we will generally redirect after uh, successfully login. So I will be redirecting to this uh, landing page once the entered OTP is same with the uh, OTP we received in our mobile device. So let's see how it looks like and how it is uh, behaving whether it's working or not. And uh, here in this code, code auto retrieval timeout I am just uh, trying to print out the things not nothing, nothing much. Uh, you can see this i'll show you what is going to print out and the main important part you need to uh, focus on is that this is the timeout if you do not mention this time out the login features will not work i'll show you how it will not work so let me rerun my application now the app is reloaded let me enter my phone number to receive the sms or otp so that we can enter uh, through another dialog box and click on the send OTP button now you can see uh, it redirected to another web page where it will verify the captcha another thing I wanted to add was that if you are implementing verification verify phone number then in mobile sometimes it will uh, take you to the verify recaptcha page and it will come back to your uh, original page to avoid that we can do another thing i'll just tell you what we need to do that now i have received the sms in my phone number and uh, let me enter that six eight 6836 and let me clear the console click on done you can see it is notifying the id token listener about user this is the user generated in our firebase authentication page and it logged in successfully and it redirected to our landing page which is nothing but home page let me take you to the console firebase console if i go to this authentication page and inside the users you can see this is the number which i had entered in my app and this is the user id that had been generated through our application a3 and a3 and the last three characters are hn1 or hn1 you can see parallelly here and here so this is how we can implement firebase phone verification in, in flutter i was just mentioning one thing that you might have seen one captcha verification page appeared in between our dialog box and when I sent, when I clicked on the send OTP code. To avoid that, what we can do is we can go to this link, Android device verification link. I'll be uh, giving this link in the description below. You can just click and you'll come back to this page. Here you'll have to enable the API you can see right it is saying that api is enabled here you will get an option to enable the android device verification if you do this and if you install your app on the real android device it will directly uh, verify inside by hiding you and it will come back to the dialog box which we just saw while doing code verification 
so this is the way we can implement phone verification number in firebase or, or in flutter with the help of firebase sdk if you have any doubt or any problem you are facing then you can reach me in the comment section below so that i can probably help you to fix your problems thank you so much for watching this video once again